Jimmy Gang, the Army, the Navy, the Unstoppable. Welcome back to another reaction with your guy, Gemini by Law. And yes, you're watching me record a video on my B Day at the telly. You know what I'm saying? You know the vibes, man. Different scenery, but it's the same old gym. You know the vibes. Now, listen, man. Today we got a reaction to Queensland shop owner fights with impromptu flamethrower. I ain't never seen somebody defend their property or their store with a flamethrower. How about you? You tell me in the comments. Have you ever seen that? Because I ain't never seen it. But look, we about to get right into this reaction, man. I'm going to get this lit. And then we're going to get that lit. That's me. Let's get right into it. Owner in the bottom there sees a couple of guys that are about to come in his store with firearms. You're going to see them come in in a second. He decides he is going to defend himself, but he doesn't have any firearms because it's Australia. So he has like a can of bug spray and a lighter and he turns it into a flamethrower, wow. which definitely freaks these guys out for a couple seconds, makes the one of them drop his gun. You see him drop what looks to me to be kind of like a homemade uh, gun that he has there. But eventually these guys aren't going to have it and they start threatening him and then he finally gives up. And as they're going to then come around in order to get to his registers, he is then going to run out the front door, leave them to their wares. They're going to steal about 680 bucks out of his <coughs> till and run off. And we get to think about lessons. Yo, that was crazy, dog. I ain't never seen nobody think of some shit like that on the fly and they actually saved their life. Like, I don't know about y'all, but when I was a kid, I used to do that too. I used to take like the spray, like, you know, the wick spray or the, the breeze spray, the joint that come out strong, take the lighter, put it in front of it, and it would dead be a flamethrower. Like, that was some shit, you know what I mean, we used to do as a kid. Dude just made that a real weapon in real life, and it might have saved his life. That's nuts. You know, I'm going to watch that back one more time. Let's watch that back one more time. My son put out the flamethrower. Don't play with this man. He's not to be played with. Not when he got the flamethrower, gang. Let's go. To come in his store with firearms. You're going to see them come in in a second. He decides he is going to defend himself, but he doesn't have any firearms because it's Australia. So he has like a can of bug spray and a lighter and he turns it into a flamethrower, which definitely freaks these guys out for a couple seconds, makes the one of them drop his gun. You see him drop what looks to me to be kind of like a homemade uh, a gun that he has there. But eventually these guys gun. aren't going to have it and they start threatening him and then he finally gives up. And as they're going to then come around in order to get to his registers, he is then going to run out the front door, leave them <coughs> to their wares. They're going to steal <coughs> about 680 bucks out of his till and run off. And we get to think about lessons. All right, before we get to... Listen, man, he did what he had to do to get away, dog. At the end of the day, you do what you got to do to get the safety. That's the goal. Safety is the goal. He got away. He might have burned one of them, one of their goddamn eyebrows off in the process. You know what I'm saying? I wish he, you know what I'm saying? Been a little bit more effective with his flamethrower. But at the end of the day, what he did was stay safe, remain safe, and get out the danger zone. And that's what we all need to be doing. Safety is the number one, you know what I mean, objective. Now, listen. If, if, by the way, you know what I'm saying, any of y'all can take a shot with me, please do. I got to give me some casa right here. I'm going to take a shot up with y'all. I'm going to cheers with you real quick first. You know what I mean? Cheers to you. Let me see, make, make sure you get that. Cheers to you, man. I'm going to take a birthday shot, man. Appreciate everybody who here to the end with me. You made it to the end. I figured I'd just throw a little celebration. You know what I'm saying? A little celebration and at the end, man. A little shot for me, man. Hmm. Jimmy Gay, I'm off this. I appreciate y'all. Happy birthday in the comments if you rocking with your boy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like bell. Let's keep this going, man. We ain't stopping. No. 